It's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with another friendly Jordans, friendly Jordies video, commercial news in Australia. Before we jump in, make sure you subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell, give the video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. What we got tonight on what used to be known as the six o'clock news, but has recently rebranded to the much more accurate title. What did Princess Kate do today? <laughs> With murder and weather together. Recap of tonight's top story. Have you seen this YouTube clip? No, I haven't seen that one. What a service to the elderly that have no friends but still want to know what's trending. Our target demographic. If you're looking for integrity and dedication to the pursuit of truth, then go watch the occasional story on repeats of 60 minutes from 30 years ago. Because most of our anchors are gold logie nominees and think that the walkly is the first part of the hyphenated word walkie talkie. Logie used to Rove used to win. A crack team dedicated to one mission. Round the clock reports on a stream of random, unpreventable tragedies that make you feel like a a massive dick if you change the channel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, to make you feel like a massive dick if you change the channel. Feel like a massive dick if you change the channel. A horrific murder suicide in Sydney South East has left surviving mother Andrea wondering, is she to blame? Keep in mind I'm supposed to be completely objective, but come on, she did raise this monster. Jeez, my mum's in the room. This is more uncomfortable than when you're watching a movie with your parents and they show a sex scene. Back to back trite, utterly useless information that only your most boring rural relative finds even remotely mentally stimulating. Apparently there's a uh, graffiti mayhem on the train to Melbourne. Oh wow, that's like a Sim City Junior problem that when you get the notification it's happening, you just ignore it because who gives a shit? Yeah, well, I suppose that's the reason they got graffiti down there. Cause no one cares, do that. Delivered to you in a context-free zone. Well, Merry Christmas, everyone. And the holidays couldn't come sooner so you could go to the beach because this year is the hottest year on record. And oh, hang on. So it was last year. And the year before that. <laughs> it's almost as if there's some climactic pattern I should be warning people about. <laughs> After 10 years of declaring that it's the hottest year on record, she's finally gonna say it! She's finally gonna say climate change! <laughs> no, Mark, as a weather girl, it's my sacred duty to tell people what's really going on. That if it's been that hot for this many years in a row, you should be wearing sunscreen, people! <laughs> Stupid. Employing a weather reporter is not on the base. <laughs> oh, I love this. So whether or not they hold a degree in meteorology, but on the all important job application question. So, did you used to host Saturday Disney? <laughs> Coupled in with the Mr. T of the A team, a stocky meathead sports reporter who's so dumb. Can't go to gorilla is my teleprompter as her vocabulary well exceeds mine. With a tie. And gets visibly uncomfortable when he's forced to engage in on air banter between co hosts uh. when the conversation veers even slightly away from sports. Well, it's uh. back to school on Monday, and I can hear all the parents across Australia sigh with relief. My, uh, daughter starts kindy this week. I know, the holidays just get longer and longer. I think we're in the wrong job. Oh, now it's going to listen to me again? Okay. Sports journalism <laughs> was always looking at from round the twist when it was shrunk. And of course that cowboy narcissist male anchor. Who you can tell oh, by my extremely confident slant and the way that I finish every positive story with the drawl. Good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> as soon as the apocalypse happens due to my severe lack of reporting on serious environmental issues, I'm heading straight to your supply shelter and... <laughs> Get away from my can't you? Brian Willis. Oh, <laughs> you remember me from before the collapse, do you, mate? Good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> as biting as they're in de- <clears throat> I, I did, I just had a news be uh, Australia. This had a commercial news be 
Because I'm loving it. It's 20 seconds of daily political coverage that's so light, the only distinguishable feature between their duck on a surfboard story and that is that there's no duck, instead there's <laughs> Malcolm Turnbull. Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull, who we all love on this panel. Yeah, he's dapper, all right. Oh, so smart. Anyway, he met with the President of Indonesia today, President Bam Bam Dudu Bobo Dudu. <laughs> 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 Einstein status, what is that? It's running Indonesia. Oh no, no, that's right, that was the last one. Don't know what his name is. Anyway, they met to discuss the Trans-Pacific Partnership, which is essentially an international trade deal that will spell the death of the nation state as world leaders corroborate to hand over what little power governments have left to the most powerful corporations on earth. Are we being completely left in the dark about that because idiots like us are talking about the fucking traffic and dogs that are extremely happy to see their owners? But that wasn't what was making Malcolm Turnbull sweat today. The sun was. Look at him. He is glistening. Oh my God. Yeah, it's the hottest year on record. So Malcolm, if you're watching, wear sunscreen, okay? Maybe with some of the food. Some of the food spicy there. Hmm, slip slop slap Malcolm, haven't you heard? Okay. Australian commercial news. More Australians get their news from a program that has less information in it than the uh. game show that precedes it. Dystopic. Having said that, genuinely like Melissa Doyle, I find her really... I, I love that so much. That that was absolutely hilarious, bro. That's all we got. You guys got a favorite video suggestion? You can subscribe to Patreon and drop it in the comment section. It's your boy D Nia. Out.